What's up, YouTube? We're back. It's your boy, Mad Stacker. And we're here because I'm stacking up that Canadian Constitutional. Hey, guys. That's right. Welcome back. I got me a nice... I keep saying... I get excited when I do this and I say I got me. And, uh, yeah, well... I know it's not the right way to say it, but it's fun to do it. So this is the second time I've had this conversation on camera and I'll try to stop doing that. So I got me some Canadian silver. I know some of you grammar police, it drives you nuts when I say stuff like that. But uh, I did obtain myself some Canadian silver. Uh, I got this by way of my good buddy, AG Chopsticks. Uh, he was looking to do two things. Sometimes... And he made a good, very good point that I'd like to kind of share with you guys. People always, you know, oh, I don't have a relationship with anybody like that. I don't have, a, uh, you know, I don't have enough money to spend enough money uh, to build a relationship with uh, a coin guy or a coin shop or or whatever. So doesn't necessarily have to be your money, right? Sometimes you just have to put in the time on the process. You know, if you pick it up. For one price and sell it for that same price plus shipping and maybe you aren't making any money on it but you are adding business history to a relationship between you and somebody else and then sometimes you can get a better deal on stuff when you're buying a larger amount of it and if you can't take that down by yourself it only makes sense to reach out to somebody that can take it down with you so ag chopsticks reached out to me and uh, he could have taken this down by himself, but he didn't want uh, this that much of what he was buying. And he was working on building a relationship. And in order to get it at the price we got it at, he had to have somebody going with him because he didn't want to get stuck with this much Canadian constitutional. Although I don't know if Canada has a constitutional. So do you call it constitutional silver? That's probably an argument for another day. But without further ado, let's get into it. I bought... $315 worth of Canadian constitutional silver. Now, I'm pretty sure this is all 80 percenters. I do know at some point they even switched down to uh, they switched down to 50%, but if I remember correctly, now keep in mind I'm recording this on August 22nd, but we did this deal on July 29th, so I don't 100% remember. So if something does end up being wrong once we get in this box, uh, give me some give me some leeway for the passing of time. Oh, he stuffed it with these that I loathe. I throw more of these things away. But I never thought about using them as packing material. It's kind of genius, AG. Like, y'all have no idea how many of these I throw away. Bags and bags full. Never once crossed my mind that they make really good packing material. That is amazing. All right, let me make sure there's nothing else in the box. What's in the box? All right. There's my log of Canadian constitutional let's get in like a surgeon oh you put it in a cool little bag yeah there it says 80 percent and this one says 50 percent all right so looks like we got a mix of both again like i told you i it could be a memory thing that just feels and sounds cool wow Alrighty, so that is a 1968, 68, you know what, that might be the first year of 50%, so it may be that all these are going to be 68, <gasps> look at that, 67, so maybe it was 67 was the year they switched, 
I don't think I've ever seen that bobcat quarter before. Oh, y'all can't even see that. Let me get closer. What am I doing? What am I doing? So these are the 68s. And that is the 67. I'll just keep looking. 68. 68. 68. Looks like these are all 68s. Ooh, I got me another mountain lion or bobcat thing. That's a 67, 68. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, four dollars in fifty percent Canadian quarters. And then we can look here. That's oh now one of these years they can't one of these years they did both 50 and 80. I think it might have been the 67s. And there's no way to tell without actually testing them because they weigh the same. So the 67s all have the fishes and the 68s all have the boats. So let's see, we got fish, 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 boat and boat so one two three four five six one two three four five six uh six sixty sevens and three sixty eights it's weird that that's one short let's make sure there's not one in there there is i thought that was a little weird there's my other fishy We'll put that down there with those fishies. All right, so those are the 50 percenters, boys and girls. Let's get into these and see what we're looking like. I like these bags, AG Chopsticks. I got another one. He sent me some stuff for giveaways. Still got a few things in there. Oh, this is fun. Oh, well. So oh, there's an old one. This is uh 1896. Whoa. Y'all, look at this. That's not a bad pickup for junk silver. Wow. I'm going to look up, see what kind of information I can find on this. I wonder how many of these they made and see if I can find out who that is on there because clearly that's not Queen Elizabeth. I'm wondering if that's uh, Wilhelmina who was, oh no, right there it says Victoria. Newfoundland. Wow, that was before it was even Canada, y'all. Let's see what else we got in here. 45. Just looking to see if I see anything else cool right off the top of my head. All right, let's just start going through some of these and see what we got. It's a 65. Another 65. 66. Y'all are like, please don't do this right now. I know, I know. 66. Oh, there's uh, King George. It's a uh, 1950. It goes way back there. That one is a 1955. 
62. Yeah, I probably don't have enough room to put them all in gear order right now, but uh, there's another 65. 66. 64. I keep saying I don't have time to do this, but I won't stop. I can't stop. 62, 66, 65, 51, 45, wow. Forty-four, sixty-two, sixty. 62 alright you All right, y'all. I'm not going to continue to bore y'all going through every single one of these. But what I will tell you is that these are freaking awesome. Now yeah, let's just drag them in. I will keep the 70s in the, or I'm sorry, the 80s and the 50% separated, but I will go through, once I put all these in my spreadsheet, then I will put them all in tubes. So appreciate you guys coming to hang out for another Saturday morning premiere train kept this video simple today just a little back to the basics all your constitutional doesn't necessarily have to be american constitutional i mean let's be honest if it if shtf happens might not be a bad idea to have a little bit of british have a little bit of canadian maybe even a little mexican constitutional you know that sort of thing just to have a little bit of each one in your pack because you never really know what might come in useful and I know you can't prepare for having silver from every single country all over the world but uh, doesn't hurt to have any so like I was saying at the beginning team up with folks find some people if you find a good deal that you want to take advantage of but can't do it by yourself or just don't want to put that much tied up in that one particular product find somebody else in the community to do it with you that way, these people that you're buying from start to see that you're moving or, or acquiring quite a bit of weight over time. And they're going to start to look for you to, to pick up stuff when they get it. You're going to be their guy or gal that they go to when it's like, oh, hey, I've got you know somebody coming in here to buy quite a bit of stuff. I don't remember who it was, but somebody was just telling me a story the other day. Somebody, maybe it was Millstacks up in Canada. Somebody came in with a Canadian constitutional there and they had... I want to say it was a few thousand dollars worth and the LCS couldn't take it all down. Maybe it was like four grand worth. So the LCS literally called up Millstacks to come get this off of the customer. So he wasn't even paying coin store prices. He was paying what the coin store would be buying it at. So be prepared to take advantage of those kind of deals. Uh, start talking to people in the community ahead of time, building relationships with people in the community. So you have trust there. And say, hey, if I ever come across a killer deal, Mr. Mad Stacker, would you like me to call you so we could maybe take it down together? And, and my answer is always yes, absolutely. Uh, I reserve the right to say no, depending on, uh, you know, the deal and if I'm comfortable and, and, you know, all those sorts of things. And if I tell you no right from the get-go, then you might need to look in the mirror and worry about your trust. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> just playing hey i appreciate you guys hanging out this is going in my stack and you know once it goes in my stack it never goes back so i hope you guys are having an amazing amazing weekend thank you to everybody on the premiere train all my amazing conductors appreciate you guys we've been rocking this thing for oh we're coming up on a year since the very first premiere train i think uh, it was probably in october um so we're probably about a month out since the very first premiere train with just myself and ink scars way, way back when. So looking forward to doing some more of this with you guys. If you're a video content creator and you would like to take a conductor spot at some point, 
Uh, it doesn't have to be an every weekend thing. We can just get you in from time to time if that's what you want. Uh, I like to try to work with folks. We do have rules that we have to follow to do this. Um, and sometimes I can I can slack on enforcing those so people tend to to get used to doing things that way. But that's not the way I built this thing to be. So I, I may have to start um, you know, just enforcing some stricter guidelines because it just makes it easier on everybody when we are all on the same page. Needs to say, not talking about anybody in particular, just, uh, just kind of rambling. Love all you guys. Hope to see you guys soon. Let's go check out Everyday Coppertunity and Trade Day this afternoon and do not worry about fitting in because we are all mad here. <laughs> <laughs>